Welcome everybody to the second series we're going to do with our gang to GM educational wise for all the supports uh, we're going to do Moira and I'm going to go step by step and try to explain everything that uh, I will do in order to reach GM it's going to be educational the reason why I want you to learn Moira right now is support meta is going to change drastically 2 to 2 has been introduced and the more heroes you know to play properly the more value you're going to get out of them so let's get this started I'm not mad, I'm just getting a point across. If you would like me to talk like this, as in my friend, I repeat myself because that's what I wanna do, then you're gonna fall asleep. Anyway, nobody's talking, this is weird. Oh, fade out, dodge that. Fade out because I remember I heard the Hans early. Thank you so much for everything. That's what people did. Nah, he's going to take the health back. Killing them up. Does take the health back. Okay, and Thunderbolt died. Not my fault, Doug. Killing them up. Trying to get for not to die from the punch. Push up. Kill up the Doom. I'm close to my call. I'm gonna ult instantly. 5 vs 5, not too careful not to get boop. Focusing the Orisa, dodging the angle for the Doomfist punch with 5 vs 4. Moira no fade, Moira no fade. Is she low? Yeah, she's low. Just melee, get out. Go on to the left side. Let my Orisa tank a little bit. Oh, that's a huge boop. Staying on point. When he slams. Oh, Hanzo is behind, should have faded out. That was a huge boop from Lucia. Whenever I'm using Cole and you're using Cole and you're against the Widow or Hansok, be careful not to get one shot by them as you position yourself around walls to not get one shot. Second to that, if you're against the Doomfist, position yourself in such a way so you don't get punched and get your gold made cancelled. Kind of like the same if you're using Visor or Blade and don't want to get slipped by Ana. Same with Moira's Coalescence. If there's something that can stop you, make you flashbang or whatever, just be careful. Punch comes through, dodging it. I need to go get top left really fast. I'm going to fade over there. Nah, I don't need fade. Just go healing orb. They only have Lucia heals 5 vs 5. If they continue this team fight, should be good for us because they rush in. They're, they're, they're not going to have heals. They're going to lose the long fight. The longer it goes, when they lack the main resources of healing, the better for us. Yes, yes, come in. Yes, easy clap. Yes, use ultimates. Press Q. Yes, yes. Drop on me. Yes, continue. Yes. Oh, use beat also. Yes, yes, yes. You, you know what? You want me to summarize the outcome of this team fight so far? Their Moira died first. They only have Lucio heals. The longer the fight, the easier it is for us to win. Moira died again. Okay, now enemy team, come in. The only th the only way they can win this team fight without the Moira is if they get two or three picks and like don't even need the healing because they got the picks and they're all full HP like we fucked up. But right now, even if they invest, our the Moira is going to be close. Here soon. They should start to get quite low, pinning onto the other side, and now it's time to panic. We're Fox versus 5, so I'm using my ultimate, trying to get to the Winston, trying to get to the Lucio. I know Hans is shooting at me, so I'm trying to contest him as much as I can. Moira is back, but see how they're still going one by one? I get the Doomfist punch, know that he's going to punch left side, and literally the last couple of 1 or 2 minutes have been them not waiting for the Moira to come with them. Like, it's okay to engage when you. When you only have Brick heals or Lucia heals, if those heals are enough for you to win the team fight, so that means that you need to take a very fast team fight. Like, if you play Doomfist, Reaper, Sigma, Diva, and you only have Lucia heals, and it's 2 CP, even if you kill us, we're going to have close response, you're going to be very low after. One of the only times when you want to engage, let's say the Degmoira is dead. The Doomfist kills somebody, the Reaper kills somebody, the Sigma kills somebody. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if my guy's dead, I don't even need extra healing. But in this case, we essentially drag 2 minutes off the clock, or one minute and a half, because they, I didn't hard engage by the way, so I, I was worried that the longer the team fight, the easier it is going to be for us to win. When I felt like I started to lose pressure from the team fight, then was the moment when I invested my coalescence. As in, they already had two picks, were 4 versus 5, and then Moira were, was going to be there soon. Moira came back, 4 versus 6, but I killed somebody eventually, 4 versus 5, and we have close expo. Why I'm staying top left? Moira lacks healing range. She only can heal long range with Orb and Ultimate, but that's also limited to range. 
So I'm staying top left because this is where my tanks are playing. I'm not gonna invest ultimate, 6 versus 5. It's just right now if I press Q, I probably kill 5 people. 6 versus 4, still no ultimate. Failing onto the other side, my team pushes in. Why should I invest coal there? If two of my people die right now, like Doomfist dies, no problem. My guys dead, even if they walk in, I'm still keeping my coal. A lot of people will probably act, they use coal, I use coal, bro. My coal is bigger. I wanna prove something. Now, let's see if we get some kills with this. The mines come through. Our ball is quite low. Trying to damage them a little bit. Careful about the punch, fading onto the other side. You see how I'm always assuming that they're going to land the punch? Because like Afli, I think his cooldown is 4 seconds, your fade is 6 seconds. But up until he charges his punch, that's 1 second. So you have 1 second to like dodge preemptively. Keep over there, use great. Trying to focus the Moira. Gets the hook through. Easy clap. By the way, quick fade on this map. You can fade from here to here. And you can also fade from here to here. Okay? Let me fade over there. Just so I can show you. Right now I should not stay here though, but let's go. They're going main, they're going main. No main, main. Going to, actually, I'm going to call. Reaper behind you, Widow, left side. And I got the Widow. Wall hack and call for one team fight. I'll get that any day. Fading this. 60 seconds remaining. Start to walk in. Who's dead from them? I have no idea. Don't have time to tap. Don't pay attention. Lucia's under. Lucia's over here. Link Doom to stop. Okay, stop point. I'm not even gonna shoot back to kill her. Fuck. I talked in voice. I said I'm not gonna shoot her. I'm gonna heal up because the longer the stack, the better. And I also charge my ultimate faster if I heal. Because, like, I can heal multiple people. This fade jump is good to know in this part of the map because, let's say, you drop over here. The second you feel like you touch the corner, you jump. And of course, I can do it when I show it like this, but you'll see. If I don't talk, I'm gonna fail it. Doomfist is far right, outside. They're coming main again. Reaper TP on you, Widow. Going to fade to ball. Yeah, yeah, focus me. Now, they're starting to get picks, we're starting to get picks. We have close spawn, so all I wanna do is just not die. These are mines, Doom 1. Heal up the hog. And boom. Easy clap. It's one and a half minutes. Because uh, they just went in without their deal. Oh. Alright. Hanzo, ball. Sombra. Okay. Where Sombra is? Going to turn around the guy, click her gas. Fading the jump. Ah, yeah, Anna's gonna nade me there. Failing before he slams, so I don't feed him ult charge. Gets out. We need to go right side. Let's start moving. Anna's half. Anna left side, half left side. Works your way. No need Anna, half HP point. Nice. The second, like you have to choose between DPS, heal and tank. If you kill the heal, the DPS and tanks will die. Obviously, though, they like heals. See, Anna works out of position. Easy clap. I should not go the healing orb in this case. I should have kept my, should have thrown my damage orb. Anyway. What is that point? I can test it to a duel. Uh, I lagged. <laughs> Don't do that! See? Very educational. Don't take a 1v1. And now, if you want me to be a true master player. A true master player. Uh, Hanzo was in. Uh, Hanzo had a Muxy pocket, that's why I lost. That's why I lost that. She had a Hanzo had a Muxy pocket. 
What the fuck can I do? I'm 1v1 and Hanzo gets a Muxy Pocket. Kappa. Anyway, let's stop feeding. I don't want to end this video, do I? Hey, I walked out. I said stop feeding. Wait, I'm not slow, guy. Wait, nobody on hug? Who's slick? Somebody's slick. Uh, lag? Um, hello? Hello? I'm back? Okay, I'm back. Okay, solo. Don't punch me. Wait, how did that punch go? That was a weird ass punch. Kills from guys at a point. Maxi left side. No sleep on a guy's side. Guy in low. Can I stop? Maxi guys sing. Then I will. This is a C9. Close to a C9. I can get out. I believe. I'm a believer. Told you I'm a believer. This is taking way too much. Just go main. Go main. If we go main, we can fish. Shoot some point. From high ground. Analog left of point. No nade. Oh, wanna. Analog left side. Get out. Shit. No one can hide from my sight. Can I maybe sign this? Is this worked even trying? Now we stop. Just gonna try it out. Please don't end this with a draw. I'm trying so hard to C9 in this game. I just want to end the game with a C9. Let's go high on top right. They have shatter. So the reason why I played this couple of minutes is I f like this is I felt like if I would kill Diana and the Muggsy, I could apply pressure to the killers, we would win the team fight. But apparently they're pinning for each other very well. Oh shit. You're more fell. Just go main, go point, go point. Fading. They're gonna be forced to drop. This is gonna die. Guy's gonna shot at me. This thing, Diana, is going to try to sleep me. Ana low. Gonna shut the. Zaga low. Not me. Get a Muxi, Muxi, Muxi left. Moiga, no gate. Moiga, Moiga, left side. Moiga, left side. Moiga, Moiga, Moiga. I can see it. Mega low. 5v5. Mega left side of point low. Mega one. Mega no gate. One. Doom low. Doom dead. I'm gonna be close to Gavin if he kills Zaga fast. Crack, 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 crack. That took way, way longer than expected. Let's get a win. Thank you. No,
Stay behind. Some super damage rip. We don't know Gapple. Sleeping? Sleeping? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna rock him. Three, two. I know we're gonna be on Good rock box. We don't want it. I recognize they were playing with Lucia Moega. I didn't hear any Ana, I didn't hear any Zen, so that's why I like went and took the duel. Classical stay behind shields. Full comes to go, all is a semi and he got faded. Wait. Genji, Genji on payload. Genji on dash behind, Genji on dash behind Segbug. Oh, Faced with a setback, let's go high guns. I'll I'll I'm still gonna play hard. I'll use up some. I'm afraid. Nice. Okay, they made the noise that I deployed that hook. I thought I was saying I don't know how you're looking, so I said I don't want to do it. You're still equal, you're still equal. Oh, get up behind, get up behind, help you gonna. Kill the people behind you, kill the people behind you. Yeah, they're low, they're low. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're split, we're split. Lucio, Lucio, he's throwing. Kill Lucio. Okay. Kidogi, sir. No way. Oh, I've been wanting to play Genji all day, dude. Dude, I've been wanting to play Genji all season. Uh, you're you're, you're, you're telling me, dude. I've been wanting to play Genji for 16 seasons. Uh, we should fight the long list, that's why I've extended. Maybe back out all the way. Genji's low, Genji's low, Genji's low. We're still equal, we're still equal. Down one. Oh, we're still equal if you can cut back. Dude. Oh. We're winning this, we're winning this. Let's push the pillar. Get into position. I got him. Gotta get the Genji. Gotta get the Genji, try to get the Lucia. Oop, Donald, dude. You're actually crazy. Lucia's one. Maga's gonna fade. Top, top. Uh, Dodging this. Gonna get it. Okay. We didn't get the Moiga? Wait, Moiga was low. Top left. Moiga stop left. Log left. Fork left. Moiga no fade if you see her. Hog, 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 hog. Moiga guy inside. Genji top left. So I'm gonna try to focus the Genji. Get a Genji left side. Fork left. Jump on me. Jump on me. Jump on me. Just get out. Get out. <laughs> that was a nice guy. You did it too early, you potato. I did. Let's go high ground, go high ground. So you can put down on high ground, has have VDZ nades. Here's the top. I'm like 3600 SF. Just like a GM. Don't be hungry. I'm making the same thing in the field. Oh, Genji? Genji another flight? Don't behind, don't behind, don't behind. Genji one. Am I gonna fade? Am I gonna fade? Doom, 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 doom. Hog up one. Equal up one. Hog, 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 hog. There's mana, and as well, well the way in the back. Can't spam the shield. Gotta get the Genji fogs. You should hog out here. Let the touch. Okay, there we go. There's Nanoblade, what else? 
I mean, please, no, no, no. There we go. Just play for pull hook. Just play for pull hook. Don't we play the corner. Can hold them. Can hold this. We're four v four. Push him a little bit and heal up the grace sword. We're gonna fade. Hold, 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 hold. Push it low. We're on top right bridge. I'm gonna hook it up. Borisana, coming back. Who's going? Pulling what up? Uh, okay, yeah. Let him back right, let him back right. I'm on with him. Turn the hooks. Can you dash? Did a fade right before? Stop main, trying to pocket Yana. Wood is gonna shoot at me. What? Back out, back out. Awesome. Gotta get the full, fully back out. On us close, I don't know, can't real pick. This time after Nano, I switch to Lucio. Uh, good Nano whole hog? Oh yeah, brother. Yeah, Nano whole hog or Nano call. Bongo full call be fucked though. Yeah, definitely. I don't know this. They still have all hacks, so I need to be careful, still want to push him. Fog is the mic off it. Fog is solo. You fucked up, right? Get out, it's lost, get out, get out. Yeah, we're gonna see man. Can you go in? Can you go in? Go feed, rescue. Ah, oh, they know, they know. Let hey, me die, bro. Can you set? At least 3 minutes 27. At least we have that. I have time to regroup. I'm gonna have another call. If I waited more, then they would have turned around. Wait for Helix, wait for Helix. Once we can see it, we got touch. Where's the one? Where's the one? Nice, nice, nice. You play behind. Breaking ball. Nice and no ball. Two behind, two behind. Two first, two first. Oh, we're still holding one. Lucia low. Two, two, two. Mwaga no fade, mwaga no fade, mwaga left side, mwaga fox, mwaga fox. Doom, 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 doom. Let's go! Good. <laughs> 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 this is hard, bro. Yeah. The gatekeeping game to GM, I believe. I'm just queuing for all three what? right now, and whatever I get, I'm gonna play. Surprised we didn't. What are Genji? Dog should have killed him. What are Genji? Yeah. We should drop, we should drop, 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 drop. Go in Segba, go in Segba, go in Segba, go in Segba. Back all the way, back all the way, let them push, let them push, let them push, let them push, just get out, get out, get out. We can stay, we can stay, stay here, stay here. I got hook. Oh, 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 Thanks, I just lost the 1v1. Yeah, I, I know you did. Yeah, you see him, Hanzo. Um, 
Nice. Like, from what I see, team wants just stay on payload and gonna stay on payload. Usually, you want to hold from Segver because like they can't snipe it that easily. But I'll take it. Just bongo next fight. Go for a pull hook. If nothing connects, bongo. Nice. No ults, no ults, no ults, no ults. You get one or two fix, just call out no ults. Go damage right top left. Stay behind Dogisa. Uh, let's play it safe. Let's pull Dragon next fight. Yeah. Kim's coming up top. They're gonna hide them Zandag. They're Gandag, they're Gandag. Let them place the shield and dragon pull. We don't even need it. No, don't, 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 don't. We're 6v5, don't have a shield. Just don't die from Hanzo. Oh, we Nice ult economy, getting picks one by one. We have six ultimates. If they go high ground, go in Segbar. Let's bongo, Gri. Just bongo, 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 bongo. Bongo and push it, Dogi Savage. We can bongo now. Doom low, doom low, doom low. Get out, get out, Logisa. We can get contest. Delish is dead. Go guys, go guys, we need to touch. Oh yeah, do not go left. Okay, let me just Yeah, that's another ult. The ult economy, bro. Everything except dragons. I'm just gonna die. No, they use dragons. Perhaps okay, then they use everything. They used Fahog at the start of the fight. They used Bongos. They just used Zumont. They used Hanzo about halfway through and they used Oh no, I might die here. Um, actually, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Don't even peek. Yeah, I'm backing up. Yeah, yeah, they probably have Fahog again, if anything. Let's go on the, go on the right side. Should be easier at yeah. the forklift. Make them car Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch no! I have wanted to ult. Didn't think oh, Moya would chase me all the way. Like, I wanted to ult because I like, gen 50 HP per second, I was 20 HP. Yeah, we got a pick, that's why I hesitated one second. We can get away though. We can get the Gipper? Yeah, we can get the Gipper out. Alright, perfect. Let's fully get out. Up the tempo. Yeah, what do you guys? signal. Don't behind, don't behind. Don't stay good, they're gonna pull. Stay behind the shield. Go the pull. I got a hug! 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 Oh, I'm 
I got their eyes. Popping off, dude. Nice. Let's go, champ. Uh, Hey, look at this. behind, suck the shields with damage herb. Fool doesn't connect with me, so I'm gonna keep my fate. Hans bomb the cup, probably going to flank on high ground. Look at this team. Nice. Fool comes soon out on me, break the shield so we can get a hook. Get a hook. I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this except for Shug. They hook somebody. Got the Lucio. Then we get quite low, so I'm cutting back. No gold, no gold. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Step by step by. We won this. One point, one point. Lucio, Lucio, one. Wait, actually, do you get two? Team climbing. Way of one, way of one. Doom one. Thanks for coming, bro. Dead. Dude. Good. This looks like the end chat. Hopefully. I'm sitting right here. Get Dogisa, get Dogisa. She's alone in front. Get Dogisa. Help Hawk, help Hawk. We can push, push, push. Back out, back, 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 back. back. Kill the Fox one on pillow. Fox one on pillow. Hans is gonna be on top on the bridge. I'm on. Yeah. Hanzo, Hanzo, Hanzo. Doesn't have pulse bones, I'm just gonna ult instantly. Who comes through? This looks like the end chat! We're gonna fade, better get the Moega. Oh, wait, first Oh my god. Can you go? GG. Yeah, GG. Yeah, I'm a 7, bro. Love your streams, bro. Thank you, dude. Dude, I, I climbed from fucking silver, dog. <laughs> Top 5 find the next season. I'm trying, dude. Hey, that's me! Your streams help. Your streams help, dude. Thank you, you dude. Big <laughs> Big win. I think we got GM. But I normally play with his main. Yeah, same. I'm also like master scrub. It's like master I'm scrub. A, so I'm a, I'm a trash tank. So whatever. GG friends. GG. Let's see the GM chat. I want to see the GM. Did you feel an urge to switch to Ana in the last couple of games? Yeah, I felt the urge to switch to Ana a lot and I've did a lot of mistakes because of that. I'm gonna go and analyze every mistake I did for the sake of it, okay? Because like the most important thing when you're climbing is being honest to yourself. We got GM, but let's focus on what I did wrong. Did a lot of things wrong that game. GM though! That's a bug! I'm going to GM with Moira finished chat. Let's get it. Alright. Now the fast analysis of the entire game. We got GM, we were here, but I don't want to search for any excuses, so I'm just going to play and give you step by step all the mistakes that I made in this game and um, note that this is how you should vote with yourself, like just be honest with yourself. I know that you reached the goal of getting GM, clap, I mean yeah you can park the first time GM, but for me... I want to be honest with what uh, what mistakes I did in the beginning. So I just spectate from here. They call out that widow is low over the left side, so I just go and contest the widow. Good call over there. Get the widow. We get another pick. We drop down. I know that I have Lucia Moira because I didn't hear any Zen shots, Ana shots, Bob shots. So Moira Lucia break probably. Drop down. Fade into a good spot. Go damage herb, play behind payload. We start pushing. Still start pushing. Still start pushing. Go for a big anti. Ho goes for a hook. Like the pull comes through. Trying to fade the pull because maybe the hook would connect above the shield. Dodge it. We go for a play. Start doing some damage over here. Wait, we can move like this faster actually with shift. Put the shield in front, Ana dies. I remember that Genji said that he was low HP, but he didn't say... I think he said he whispered one time. Uh, or pressed I need healing, but I was way too focused on healing people in front. I could have turned around to the back and healed him. He like asked for healing and I completely ignored him. This was one thing. I don't know why my head like... 
I don't think it's because I played Moira too much and I got bored of the hero. I think it's because like I have a cold starting to come through and I have like a, a mini headache. But I couldn't process the information that Genji was behind me. Like let's say I knew that my conscious told me that there was something behind me. But I got lazy turning around and healing him up because I thought he would take the mega. Expected me to heal. 4 versus 5. First mistake, he dies. Maybe if he would have been full HP, wouldn't get fisted by Doomfist. Would have uh, been in... Uh, maybe would have killed the Doomfist. He would have fucked up the punch. Genji would have been on top. Uh, Doom didn't, wouldn't have any cooldowns right after to like get out. And we would have been a 5 versus 5. Kazana died earlier and would have killed the Doomfist. But me not looking at the Genji in the back. Number one mistake. Be more aware about things around me. We would have been in a 4. If me like... Genji dying there, made the fight 4 vs 6, we lose the team fight. I don't care if Ivana died, I don't care if Genji got fisted. I could have healed up the Genji deck. That's the number one thing, should have been more aware. Played a lot of games recently, and when you play a lot of games, you like stop and losing. You like stop and uh, do mistakes like this, you know? Like, um, like you're lazy turning around and knowing everything around you. Alright, let's continue. Second. We trade 5 vs 5, okay. Throw the damage right in. And focus them down a bit. We don't have any shields, so I'm afraid that Hog is going to get a hook, so that's why I'm backing out. Fade out, the hook comes through onto the Hog, not onto me. And this is just like, when I drop here, let us let me see the mechanical mistake when I drop here. Let's play normal speed. Fade away, try to heal him up. Yeah, no mechanical mistake, to be honest. I thought I could throw the healing work earlier, but I drop with 121 HP. Should have asked for healing and should have gotten damage beforehand, but shield broke really fast, so we just got fucked. Thought I could avoid the Genji death, but I had to fade the hook that came onto Hawk there. So overall, maybe I should have faded into the back, not over here, but I know that somebody dropped. Let's just say from a mechanical point of view, should have started... Uh, if I'm not playing with double shield or if they have a lot of shield spam, they don't have that much shield spam compared to us, to be honest. Like, we had more with the Hanzo, um, but Hanzo died in the beginning. I should be more conservative with my healing orbs and try to start the fight more at full HP rather than being 120 HP, force my fade and then people can focus me down. Like military damage, dash 50 damage, that's already 80 damage and then for sure he's gonna land some sugar cans. So, I die over there. Fight keeps on going through, we're all being, everybody's being sandwiched, looking at me, coming back, call out that people are behind. Just tult right now, cause like we're starting to kill people, they have... Doomfist in spawn, they have Lucio in spawn, so... Doomfist in spawn, they have... Yeah, Doomfist and Lucio in spawn, they're coming back now. Nano, clap the fight. Easy. So two things, one being more conservative with my healing work, second being uh, like signed the fight with more HP, and second being... Um, more aware of things around me. This is why I, you know that right now I, I streamed like a lot of hours. Wait, for how many hours have I been streaming? I've been streaming for three and three hours and forty-five minutes, and I think I only took a break before the Halloween event. I didn't take a break when we started playing a ranked to gym with Moira yet. So that's why I recommend after two or four games, get your head off of the game, even two or three games. Take a five-minute break, come back, hop back in game. Maybe if I would have been more aware, maybe we would have kept the point earlier. But those weren't the biggest mistakes. I'll show you what they work. Anyway, we start pushing over here. I know that the Lucia's low over there. Start pushing, be aggressive, get the Lucia. Easy clap. Let's continue. Still start pushing, Fox Moira's coalescence, start kiting back. When I kite back, I see that Genji's anti, he's low. Go back all the way, let's play in slow motion. He's going to try and go in. Just right click him off and you see I'm playing in cover over here like I have this pillar as cover so the hook can hook me that easily. And now I'm like doing the mathematical advantage. Where 4 versus 4, Ana's going to die. Fade away because I was a... Wait, why did I fade away? I could have... Could have I healed Diana? Let me see this. I think I could have healed Diana. Go healing orb. Genji low. I remember why. Hog was over here looking for a hook, that's why he faded. Yeah, that's why he faded. And Hog had hook. Okay, so the prediction was correct. Oh, he literally threw without a chain. Anyway, I was wondering why he faded here, but now I remember that I faded preemptively for the road hog hook. Like, sometimes you can beat cooldowns by not looking at them. Like, I know that hook, hog was hook. Hog was coming from there, so I walk over here. And if I face that direction, the hook is like, bro, he's not even looking at me. Easy, easy hook. So you fade preemptively, thinking when he's going to hook, like that, dodge that. I couldn't save Diana. Let's continue and see what calls did I do. 
So. We give you fog. I say if you get a pick, we can continue. Like if you guys back, because we have close to spawn them. Like deck spawn is deck, our spawn is here. We get the hook. Pure and simply kill them. Nothing too fancy to add. Now. We go deep. Use my coalescence because Genji used his cooldowns. So I start I start hacking the Genji. Kill the Genji, then I start focusing the Lucio. He wall climbs pretty well over here, gets on high ground, gets out. Simple, simpler way I think would have been just to drop at the forklift and then go to the mini. Hanzo gets the kill eventually and now Moira's to the left side. Number one mistake over here. Because like you remember that we, we didn't cap the point here. Moira was over here left side all alone. This is more of a team thing. I call that she had no cooldown. Like I call that she's going to fade over there. So let's see what Moira does. Oh, she used fade over there. Wait, did she use fade? Yeah, she used fade and then bounce the healing orb on top. Very good. And just maintain the position. Genji recognized that she couldn't kill the Moira, I guess. Yeah, she recognized that she was getting healed. I didn't push that much because I didn't know that she was getting healed. But the idea is we could have... I should have asked everybody to rush the Moira left side. Good play that by the enemy Moira by recognizing not to fade in the back because she's going to get chased. But bounce the healing orb over here and force them to come back. Wow. Because the, um, the her team were coming back. Because even if you would have chased, they could have gotten some kills. Let me see. I think the Moira is a smurf. Based on this. Yeah, the Moira is a smurf. Okay, understandable. I don't know what is SR. Season 11, the fuck. But still, a lot of Moira this season. GM smurf understands this. Stays over here. Knows that the team's going to come back. Good play by the enemy Moira. If Hog would have been more aware to come over here and understand that we're chasing the Moira to the left side, we could have killed the Moira. Because then, if we would have killed the Moira, look at all this team fight. Moira still alive. Healing up everybody. Just continue the entire team fight. And we don't cap shit. Just because we didn't kill the Moira. Ugly. 99 attempt by Hanzo. Let's see with the regroup. Now, one thing. I asked for our team to go on high ground. The reason why I asked for our team to go on high ground is because they play with Genji, Doom, Moira, Lucio, Orisa, Hog. They can play on high ground, but they don't benefit from long from having high ground, actually. Apart from the positional advantage, the heroes don't benefit from it. Ana or Hanzo on the high ground are absolutely insane because easy nades, easy headshots past the shields. So I'm asking for that. This is a team thing. Orisa went low ground. And remember that we all had to drop eventually. We started to kite over here. Now imagine if Ana would have been here on high ground with an Orisa shield. They don't have that much poke because they're running with Doomfist and Genji as poke heroes. So not that much. Don't have a Hanzo. Easy nade here. Easy clap just by positioning ourselves over here. Let's continue and see how the fight went. Me, I just tried to apply pressure over there to the right side. Throw a damage rip in. Try to pressure the Genji as much as possible. And let's look from my point of view. Genji Blades, I know they don't have, I know they don't have a Nano, so I'm going to start to uh, focus the Genji down, because like they run with Moira Lucia, going to use my call, focus the Genji down, he's over there, dashes to me, Walk, try to damage him as much as possible, because he's ulting, see that my teammates are low, I thought Doomfist was low, that's why I'm using my, my cursor at Doomfist, try to get the Genji first, Beat comes through, try to get to the Doomfist, go to the Hanzo, heal up the Orisa, heal up the Genji that's being pocketed quite nicely by the that's why he didn't die. And let's continue this. Bongo comes through, always assume that the Doomfist punch will come after me, and I'm like, wait, where did Doomfist go? After Ana, Ana's the second healer. Try to look behind, this was an Ana, Ana was over there, you saw her, this is Hanzo. Heal up the Hanzo, easy clap heal. Now let's see, we should have the advantage, we still should have the advantage. Start doing damage, focus the Hanzo, with kills, pressure the Genji left side, I think we're gonna cap the point, yeah we cap the point here. Let's continue. <clears throat> so. Staying behind the payload, Hog gets hooked, not my fault that Hog gets hooked here, nothing I can do. Pressure the Genji, kite back, and this is an interesting play. Remember what Moira did over there with bouncing 
Uh, the orb. Let's see what I did over here. So they're gonna push us with five versus five, and they're clearly gonna push us. I have coalescence soon, and Mayana's over there, and she's going to get contested by the Genji. So this is what I do. Orisa shields. We're still here. I'm still getting close to my ultimate. I throw a healing orb up and down, so Orisa benefits from it, and also don't take the mega. It wasn't low. Um, and leave the mega for her. If, Good thing that I wasn't low HP. I, I should have. I would have took the mega. That would have been my bad. Fade to Diana, but Genji already already used dash to the other side. Like she see, he dashed here and then dashed out. Get over here. Suck the Genji off using cover all the time. Okay, so cover all the time. Get the Genji. And then I think I use coalescence the second I have it. Use coalescence. Continue the fight. Kill up the Ogisa. Who comes through? Kill up the tracer. We get a hook. And then we start pushing. So just by small plays like this. Because a lot of people say that bouncing orbs like this are useless. But if you want to hold that position and you want to do something else. Bouncing orbs like that is, is absolutely insane. Anyway. The swap to Widow. So careful about where Widow is. That's why I'm hugging this corner. She's shooting from there. Ana still coming back from spawn. So I'm looking at Ana constantly. Because I want to conserve my healing or damage. Because it's going to take her some time for her to see Orisa. So I'm waiting over here. Waiting for Ana to heal me. See I turn around. Stay still for Diana to kill me. Lucia dies. Try to throw damage orb. Throw damage orb to the Widow. Force Widow's grapple. Right now Genji blades. Gets a kill on the Hanzo. I just stay in the back. Overall, if I if you think about it, what could I have done more as Moira? If I stay here, Widow can like just walk left or right and try to see my head. If I stay here, I can't do anything. If I stay behind the payload, I'm at risk of Widow headshot. Shield probably non-existent because they, they have Bongo and they're going to discard the shield instantly. I was thinking here, what the fuck should I have stayed? But I'm but me staying over here in the back, I think was the correct call. Staying and pocketing Diana. Ana eventually dies because I can't go more aggressive. Like I was feeling pressure, bro. I need to go aggressive. But if I go aggressive, I won't do absolutely. I won't do absolutely anything. They have this wall to like cover from the suck damage that I'm going to do. And if I push past the shield, then I'm just gonna get fucked by Widow. Also with Bongo, easy clap kills for her. So I'm just playing in the back. Now I fade behind the pillow and try to pocket them as much as possible. But eventually they have close spawn. We we'll, we all die. So we get out. We lose this team fight. Good night, Kawaii. Thank you for tuning in. Maga chases me. Nice damage right over there. Zaps me away. Now we come back. We okay, group. Let's see how this fight is gonna pan out. Dodge the pull hook. Always. We get a hook. Bongo comes through. Your score lessens. Try to get the McCree. We eventually kill the McCree. Work 6 versus 4. Let's see how this is going to continue. When I'm ulting, always careful about the Widow. Like, see how I'm hugging walls. Careful about the Widow. Force Maga's fail with my ultimate. For, focus the weed over here, over here that dropped, then turn around, throw damage orb, and now I'm asking for mega focus, but we get pushed by the whole hog, which is huge. We could have cancelled it by a hook, even by a small pull, by a slip, but again, I'm playing Moira, so I'm trying to survive as much as I can, and this is why we struggled a lot to climb with Moira. So, Moira doesn't have impact on her ability, she only offers damage and healing, and you can force certain things with your fade, and has insane survivability. But overall, when they use ultimates or stuff, you can't like cancel them like a sleep dart, you can't headshot them like with the Zen, with a nice Discord orb applied to them. So you're kind of limited in your place, you can't look for boops like Lucio, boop them off high ground, or boop them off of the map so this is like sometimes we struggle with moira because in this case they use ultimates like that they push that in front could have had other opportunities with other supports but with moira my my main strength is that i can stay alive as much as i possibly can stay over here i recognize that team fight is lost and i try to go for a c9 i know that they're gonna chase and then they're gonna come back to the payload so i know that this is my window of opportunity i fade over here but then the enemy just calls out instantly realizes that we're pushing the payload lucia pays attention moira as well and then we die over here. Should have suicided. The wall Next defeated me. Remaining. Now we okay, group. Ten seconds remaining. Good. Play from over here. Heal up my team. Fade onto the other side because like everybody died over here and I couldn't heal the Hanzo. Fade and try to pocket the Hog that's whole hogging. Like usually with Mega it's quite easy to pocket heroes that are ulting, especially Hog. He ults just literally spray in his direction. Let me play the fight at one speed. Use my coalescence. Try to focus the Doomfist, focus the Lucio because he's out of position over there. Try and force Moira's fade and now I call out. I'm trying to force Moira's fade. When Moira uses fade, gonna try to kill the Moira because... 
If Myra's alive, she can heal up Reaper, she can heal up Doomfist, she can heal up Hog, and also Hog has self heal, Doomfist has shields, and Reaper has self heal as well. So if you cut the massive healing resource that Moira has, then we're gonna win the fight. So I call up Moira no fate, everybody focus the Moira, we kill the Moira, and then the healing is going to lag. Doomfist dies instantly, Hog dies instantly, we have Mongo, we cap the point. Now let's check the defense. Ready for battle. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Epic to fancy. See the Ogisa down below. Go damage rope. Play behind the shield. See that we're starting to lose pressure? Call out to drop. The reason why I want to play in server over here is because the you can, like if you play from here, they can contest you from over here quite easily with a Hanzo climbing on top, because they had a Hanzo. Wait, we had a Hanzo. Uh, Widow climbing on top, on the blue box, trying to poke, Genji poke from your head, even maybe Hog on top. If you play from here, like they have multiple angles. If you play from Segver room, they can only go over there or over there. And you can see all the flanks. So that's why I was asked to go in Segver, but so that my tanks went to the right side. So, let's try to go with them. And now, literally, I'll be completely honest, the enemy team is feeding. But before that, that's why like, we get picks. Before that, <clears throat> all reason cover, fade back, kill out my team. And I'm like, bro, we're 5 versus 5, right? Yeah, we're 5v5. We have close spawn anyway, compared to the Genji. So let's continue. I'm getting close to my coalescence, 64%. Kill them up, kill them up. Always safe, like, see, I'm using walls. I'm not staying right behind the Risa. I'm using walls if I have walls to use. Hook comes through, dodge the hook, dodge the pull hook. Reaper is hooked, still 5v5, but I'm gonna have my Coalescence. So I'm going to use my Coalescence, try to focus the Lucio. Force Moira's fate, use this, use this Coalescence a bit later, we win the fight eventually. Genji dies. Now they're just gonna go one by one and feed for a bit, nothing that important to be honest. Two minutes remaining. There's nothing to cover other than I'm just staying behind shields. Going damage orb, let the Lucia heal until he had beat, remember when he went over there. Now we're getting closer and closer to the last team fight. Again, they're dropping. Orisa died. Moira was a bit late over there, Orisa didn't wait. Nothing too important with Moira, just that see I'm playing always behind my tags, not going that DPS because I can risk by going DPS, getting locked by Hans or hooked by uh, by Hog, even fisted by Doomfist, so I don't want to risk that. Still play behind. Now we start over extending. Reaper gets hooked and we start to overgrab ultimates. As for a Bongogli, because Orisa was over here and we could push her easily, but we have different plans. Everybody starts splitting up. So we have Hog going right side. Hans dies from the Doomfist over there. And then it's literally uh, a shit fest overall. We just got picked off initially. Asked to kite back into Sekvagum. Was a little bit too late. Use my coalescence. In hindsight, I should have saved it. But Reaper comes back with his ultimate. See the dragon try to survive. Kite back. Recognize that we have another contest now. So I'm getting out. I'm not gonna die. Getting out over here, fading back. As for another recontest, we're gonna try to retouch. When we try to retouch, they're gonna use probably whole hog, I think. No, they're not gonna use anything. Eventually, they win the point, they use them pistol. Okay. The hog, hog had whole hog. Anyway, bad ult economy, we got caught out. That's what happened. Now, let's see here. We still get caught. Like, see, we're not regrouping. If you're playing in Masters or whatever, wait for the entire team to regroup. Lucia gets picked. Let's see what happens. Stay behind Dogisa. Push in front. Play from this place with cover. And right now, I'll show you one big mistake. Get everybody up. If I would have had Cold that I used earlier, we could have won this team fight by mass healing the Orisa. So I used Cold in a lost team fight on first point. Second to that, after Orisa died, I realized that my Hog was using ultimate. There was no reason for me to throw the healing orb over here, especially considering the fact that I was quite low on my resource meter. Should have thrown, 
the dam the the healing orb instead of the damage orb, then pocket the hook. And now I would have had my ultimate guy earlier. Right now, one big mistake was this. Look at my decision making, slowly but surely. So, look at my ult charge. This is my decision. Work. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have closer spawn. More regens 50 HP per second. Our uh, Reaper kills the Hanzo. And I'm like, bro, we're 4v5. Moira's in front. I'm gonna use my call. But me being tired because I didn't take a break earlier or didn't, or didn't realize that the fight was actually winnable, I hesitate for one second. So me hesitating allowed the Moira to chase me and get the kill onto me. In hindsight, the second I, I would have had ultimate, I could have survived it. Your ultimate regens 50 HP per second and I should have ulted instantly. But I thought that the fight was lost. Right now, if I ult, I'm gonna survive. I ult a little bit too late and Moira gets the kill on me over there. That's why we lose that team fight as well. Could have filled up the Hawk, could have filled up the Lucio. Maybe would have lost, I don't know. We need to see, but Reaper was in a good spot, got away. Anyway, kill up the Reaper. Let's continue on defense. Nothing too fancy. Just stay behind. Don't stay in pool range. Stay behind shields. Don't get hit by Hanzo. See how you're always using walls? Now they re-engage with call. I have my own call. Use the call. Where is that dies? Nice hook over there. Like it's like ping pong. Everybody gets hooked. Try to touch point one second to deny the push. Reaper lands here a huge ultimate. If Reaper didn't land this ultimate, would have lost the team fight. One minute and a half. Push up a bit because there's no immediate threat. Like whenever I'm pushing up like this, I'm thinking, who is the person that can kill me? Uh, how close is he? Hanzo respawned a little bit late, so I can push in a bit. If Doomfist is in front, what can he do to me? I can just fade out. If Horis is in front of me, I can just fade out. Lucia, same. Moira, same. Hog is a bit complicated because he ha he can hook me. Anyway. See how I'm playing outside of pool range? Cool thing to know. Cool thing to know. When Orisa uses her pool, your main goal is to be outside of the pool range with any support. If you get pulled, you almost always fade if you think you're gonna die from it. You're either gonna get Sigma Gogged, Roadhog, um, pulled or shit. So, like, over here I adapt because I realize that, bro, they have Doomfist and I need to keep my fade for that. So, I'm going to play a little bit further back from the pool. Standing ground. Let me show you. So they, I start doing damage and when I see the pull, I start running back. Run back all the way. And then they get a pull onto three people, but Orisa uses Fortify. If Hog would have been here and they would have waited with the pull, we would have died. So small adaptation. You can fade the pull, I agree. But you can also counter it by staying outside of pull range. Anyway. We get a pick, Doomfist just comes in and feeds a little bit. Get a hook, 4v5. Now, multiple angles of attack, very important. Remember one of the lessons that I always say in, in every educational thing I do? Multiple angles of attack, they're all attacking in the same area. I faded on the opposite side, only Hog can get to me. I'm maintaining a safe distance from Hog. So I'm separating three people here, one person here, instead of everybody grouped up over here. Because I realize that they're going to start to walk all over us. So let me play this in normal speed. Like I'm still playing in the effective range because I want the tool, I'm still playing in the effective range. If we all group up here, all they need to do is just shoot in this corner. But if I fade onto the opposite corner, they need to make some decisions. Some decisions. We focus Moira, we rush them. What the fuck do we do? I'm still healing out my teammates. Lucia gets hooked, heal up the Lucia. Still using this as cover, not getting, uh, not getting poked. We start pushing in. The Moira is coalescence. Use healing orb. Use this. Play from left side. Use Bongo. Try to focus Hawk. And now I realize because we have Bongo and Orisa's here. Bro, I'm, I feel a lot of pressure here. 
Like, if you're gonna watch the vote, you're gonna see that I feel a lot of pressure. The reason behind it is because I'm kind of like in open space. We're all kind of like separated. McCree's over here, Hans is to the left side, Orisa, Lucia, right side. And if you're on a cover, play behind shields. So I'm like, fuck off, Hog. You're gonna vape yourself. I'm just gonna fade onto the other side. Va vape, uh, fade onto the other side. Start right clicking the gases. Dodge the dragon. Orisa's gonna die. Kill everybody up. And now it gets quite nice. McCree gets a nice pick overall, like that flank was absolutely huge. Work 4 versus 3. Doomfist tool comes in. I realize when Doomfist drops, like this is one of the examples which I say, always assume that Doomfist is going to come after you. Let's play slow motion, my point of view. Doomfist drops, always assume that he's going to go after you. You don't want to risk, like he wasn't aiming at my direction, but you don't want to risk getting punched over there and dying. Okay? Especially right now when his fist is like very slow, like... You can just fade easily. Like Doofus was thinking. Probably saw my fade. And like was thinking Hanzo or Moira. Then decided to go on Hanzo. Fade away from it. No harm done. Get the Doomfist. Heal up the Hanzo that was low. Lucia dies. Moira dies. And now I'm like bro. Orisa's kind of alone in front if you remember. Push up. 20 seconds. Just push up. A lot of people will just stay on payload here. You know, like this is, this is a, a big problem. I know you either overextend too much or you stay on payload. Calculated aggression. You see the Orisa in front. It's 15 seconds. Three people are dead. Maximum it's six versus three. Get one kill. Gets hook. Help the hog. McCree dies, whatever. Hog invests ultimate, one person dies, and now back out. Now is where throws happen. You go too deep, the whole ha the whole uses his ultimate, tracer eclipse, uh Lucio or some shit, Hanzo logs uh the Moira. And now like, you know what bro? Just kite back. We got one kill, they're staggering, we have close spawn because the pillar is about to complete, so we all back out. Because other people would probably just ask to push all the way deep and I learned this the hard ways when I played in teams I would call out to push in deep and then I realized that bro if you're defending then your spawn is closer so if you trade one for one even if it's like close to the last team fight then you're going to um going to win eventually because your teammate is going to be here faster than uh, the enemy will be apart from one because of the positioning of the spawns the second because it takes them all uh, you kill them later on Anyway, over here, remember one very important thing. This is for newer players. Uh, Hanzo can wall climb forehead. So, a very common flank. I see the Hanzo over here top right, if you're gonna check the vote if you, or if you remember. So, I'm like, Tracer uses her dashes to come out of spawn. He's going to come top right. Like, this is a very common flank for Hanzo. Climbing on top of this. Try, trying to touch point. And you see, I'm not putting myself over here like in a safe spot for him to headshot. I'm putting myself over here left side a little bit. So it's a, quite an odd angle. Do some damage onto the Hanzo. Let's continue normal speed. Get the Hanzo. Go damage ribbon. Polescence. And we'll eventually win the team fight with that. Anyway. That was it, chat. Let's check out the stats. This was it for an rank to GM with Moira. Took a long time. Spend, to be honest, I spent a lot of time explaining things. Uh, we're gonna show them the YouTube uh, episodes though to uh, have like multiple information in it. But I'll be completely honest, I learned a lot of things myself. Second to that, I learned that her carry potential, although a lot of people are, over are overestimating it. You don't have that many abilities and in a tanky meta, you don't have that many abilities with impact. In a tanky meta, you're gonna struggle. If you play against Reaper and Doomfist, how the fuck are you gonna one view on them if they're just gonna, like, go in your face, you know? Like, you, you will eventually suck shields. Like, I understand the fact that Moira might sound depressive if you're, I don't know, one view on a Genji. Yeah, yeah, forehead. One view on even a McCree that has potato aim. But in a shield meta or with tanky characters, you're going to have quite a hard time. Your best bet as a Moira, the most important tip if you wanna rank up, is try to die as least as possible. I have 4.38 deaths per 10 minutes, 68% win ratio, 94 games played, damage done average 9.6k per 10 minutes, shield damage 1.8k per 10 minutes, um, elims 29 roughly per 10 minutes, elims per life 6.55, final blow 6.5, mm, healing done average per 10 13.3k. Hero damage done, 7.6k per 10. 
object that doesn't matter doesn't matter second fire accuracy 50 percent doesn't matter coalescent skills eight per ten minutes and uh, yeah that's about it oh the video ended how lucky for us do i have a proposition for you if you enjoyed the video Hello? Okay, it works. So where was I? If you enjoyed the video, <laughs> make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to be notified when we upload a new video, you can click the bell down below. Also, you know, we live stream on Twitch. So if you want to catch me live, it's at twitch.tv slash ml7support. If you want to check out our social media, has a lot of cute... Olaf pictures over there, he's so sleepy, he doesn't want to turn around and say hello to you guys, he's very good. You can check out Instagram and Twitter, and if you want to join our Discord community, guess what? We also have a server for that. With this being said, I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day or night, and take care.